In this video, we're going to take a look at something called node editing. This allows you to really get into editing vectors. So to start off with, I'm going to be doing something quite basic. And I'm going to be using this rectangle just to explain to you what it actually means. So if we zoom in here and select the rectangle, so it just becomes selected in pink. And then at the top left here, we have something called node editing. The shortcut for this is N on the keyboard. So if I select it, what it does, it displays all of the points on this vector. Okay, what make up the vector. So in this case, there are four points because it's a rectangle. So you've got a point here, 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 and here. And you'll notice that I also get a different cursor when I'm in this mode. You'll also notice that one of them is green. Now green, a green square, that denotes the start point. So when we get to machine this, that's where the tool is gonna to go in and start, okay? Now using this, you can change these if you want to. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, so what you can do with these is if I hover over one of them, I get a different cursor. And if I left click and hold it down, you can see that it becomes selected and I can move and I can actually change the shape of this vector. Okay, and I can also do the same there. Now, if I wanted to move two at the same time, draw a box around them and I can move two at the same time. I can also press control on the keyboard and select a further node if I wished and then just move that around. Okay, so that's how you move nodes. Now, if you right click on one of these nodes, so let me just click off, so it just selects one of them. So if you right click on one of these nodes, you also get a few options up here. So you've got delete node. Next to those, there are shortcuts. So delete node, shortcuts is D. But if I select D or select delete nodes, it will remove that node. And then this line will actually go from that point to that point, okay? If I want to insert a node, just select anywhere along the line, right click, and then you get some more options. So along there, you've got insert a node. And then I can move that out. You can also right click and you can also insert a mid node. And that will put a node on the midpoint of this line. And then you can move that around if you wanted to. Now a really quick thing to do is to display virtual midpoints. So if I click on that, you'll notice that you get some smaller boxes on the midpoints of all these lines. So what I can do there is just grab one of those and move it and it will then turn into a node. Now you'll notice that all of these nodes are black. So black means that these are straight nodes. So everything is quite angular and jagged. If I wanted to, let's say this node, I can right click and turn that into a smooth node. So then it becomes a curvy node. So if I move that around, you can see that I've got this curve. Now you'll also notice that I've got these two handles or these handles here on the straight node as well. Now what this controls is the curvature of the what are called Bezier curves. So this controls the curvature. So if I grab that one and move that around, you can see that I can control this curvature. These ones will make 
the curve larger or smaller and again this one adjusts the curvature okay now you also notice that we've got maintain smooth curves so what that does it gets rid of that curvature and carve code maintains that curve so what this is useful for is most of the time this eliminates any loops so with this off you can actually go like that and create a loop now with that turned on it will stop you from doing that okay which is not good when you come to machining so you don't want any loops because you'll have problems okay so let's edit this up a little bit more so let's say that I want to let's say get rid of this area here now there are a couple of ways to do that one is to right click on there and I can remove a span okay and that completely gets rid of that span if I undo that just control Z brings it back if I let's say I wanted to cut this up maybe here at this point I didn't want this to join up I want it to actually be cut somewhere here what I can do is right click here and select cut vector and then that becomes a node and if I select there to cut vector and then select that you can see that I've cut this vector up so that's quite useful if there's a section that you need to edit you can just cut that vector up okay so let me undo that and then go back to node editing now you'll also notice that that is the start point Let's say that I didn't want that to be the start point. I wanted it to start machining at the back here. Now you can either do this with a node. So right click on it and select start node. And then it changes to there. Or you can just select anywhere, right click on it and insert a start node. And it will just create a node and make that the start point. Now another thing to show you is at the bottom here, you can see that they're not aligned. So these two vectors are not aligned. So the way to get around that is if you select that vector on the left, press control and select that vector on the right. And then what I'm going to do is hover over that and select Y on the keyboard. And that will move the one on the left up to the same height as the one on the right. You can also do this in X. So if I have that one selected and then select that one and then let's hover over that one and select X, then it will align that one to that one. But because there's one in the middle, it comes out to there. Okay. So if I were to do it here and here and then press X, it will move them. Now you'll notice that that one moved over to this size. It's all dependent on how you select. So if I were to select that one first and then select that one and then press X, it will move inwards. Okay, so it's all dependent on which one that you select first. So that in its basic form is node editing and it's quite useful when you get into creating some complex vectors and you need to edit them.